All right, so today we're going to start chapter 10, which is all about conic sections. So 10.1 is really just getting you used to what even is a conic section. So conic sections are made from when you take two cones and you kind of create this figure here. Now, a circle is made for when you cut the cone completely parallel to the cones aside, right? So these two are parallel, which makes this a perfect circle. Now, an ellipse is kind of like an oval. It's made when it cuts the cone not parallel to this side, which creates an oval type shape, right? If we have a circle, right, we have a radius that's the same all the way around. With an ellipse, it might look something like this, where this distance and this distance are different. A parabola is made by cutting the cone this way, and it creates this parabola here. And then lastly, a hyperbola is made from cutting the cone this way. It creates almost two um, parabolas facing opposite of each other. Okay, so these are the four types of conic sections that we're going to be looking at throughout this chapter. And how do we graph these? How do we find all of their characteristics? And if I give you the characteristics, can you write the equation? So the first conic section we're going to look at is parabolas. Now, I know you guys have done parabolas a lot um, since you were in high school. However, this is a little bit different of a form of parabola. When we talk about parabolas of conics, it's still a parabola, but the equation and the form of it is going to look a little different. So when we talk about a, a parabola, it's a collection of all points P on a plane that are the same distance D from the fixed point F as they are um, from a fixed line D. Um, so essentially, that's really wordy. But essentially what's happening is if I gave you a parabola, Let's say the parabola looks like this. We have, when we have a parabola that looks like this, what's called a focus and what's called the directrix. Now, the focus and the directrix are the same distance from the vertex. And what happens is at any point, let's say I pick this point P, this distance here is the same as this distance here. Okay, so at any point, if I said find the distance using the distance formula from um, this point to the parabola and from the parabola to the, ver to the directrix, those distances are going to be the same. Even if I went from here, those distances are the same. Okay, so the equations of our parabolas are going to have two forms. We're going to have where it's y squared equals 4ax and x squared equals 4ax. Now, when we have a vertex or a parabola that's y squared, that's different. Usually we have y equals x squared, blah, 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 blah. So when we have a y squared instead of an x squared, that's a parabola like I drew up here that's going to be opening either left or right. Now, if a is negative, it's going to be opening left instead of right. Um, the vertex of this equation is at 0, 0. The focus is at a comma 0. Our focus would be right here. And then the directrix is the same distance. So if this distance is a, then this distance is a. So our directrix here would be at the line y equals negative a, or x equals negative a. Now, if it's an x squared graph, then that's a typical parabola that we see all the time that opens up. Once again, the vertex is at 0, 0, but this time the focus is at 0, A because we're going up here, right? So this would be A distance away. And then once again, this is going to be A distance away. Here's our directrix, and that's going to be Y equals negative A. Now, um, the segment through the focus connecting the two points of the parabola is called the latus rectum. That length of the segment is the absolute value of 4a. So what I'm saying is, if we had a parabola where this is a, the distance from this point to this point that connects all of these, this is going to be 2a away, and this is going to be 2a away making that whole distance for it. Okay, and that's how we're going to graph our parabola. 
Um, now this equation is the same that we saw up there. This is a y squared, so y squared would go with the y squared. The only difference is, is that this now doesn't have a vertex at 0, 0. It has a vertex at h comma k. And then we have this equation, x squared would match with the x squared. It's just that instead of being at 0, 0, the vertex is at h comma k. Now notice here that no matter where the x is, so like the x is here and the x is here, no matter if it's being squared or not, h is always with x and y, a k is always with y. And also remember anything that's in the parentheses we think opposite, right? So if it's minus 3, then it's really positive 3. Okay, so let's jump in now that we've kind of talked about all of these formulas. Let's jump into the problems. So it says graph the equation, then identify the vertex, focus, and directrix. Now, because this is a y squared, that means it's not going to open up or down like it usually does, but it's going to open left or right. Now, because this 4 here is positive, it's going to be opening to the right. So that helps us. Because we have no h and k, that means the vertex is at 0, 0. So I know it's going to be at 0, 0 here. Now, in order to find the focus in the directrix, I need to know what a is. So we know that the equation is y equals 4a times x. So I need to rewrite this so that I can figure out a. Well, isn't that the same as saying 4 times 1 times x? Those are the same thing. So that makes a just 1. So now that I know a is 1, the distance to the focus and the distance to the directrix is always the a value. So I'm going to go out 1 in both directions. Now it's opening to the right, so this guy is our focus, so that would be 1 comma 0. And the directrix is going to be this one, so that would be x equals negative 1. Now, I also told you guys up here, remember, that the distance to the point next to the focus is 2a away. So if I go 2a, well, a is 1, so that means I'm going 2. So I'm going to go out 2 from the focus, and that tells us how wide our parabola is opening. So now we have graphed our parabola, right? If a was 4, then I would have to go up 8. That's going to be a really wide parabola. But because a is 1, it's not that wide. Okay, so let's graph some more. So a number two, same thing. This is an x squared. So x squared, think of a normal parabola as has x squared. So that means it's going to be opening up or down. But because it's negative, it's going to be opening down. Okay, so we know that it's typically in the form 4ay. So that means that a could be called negative 3. 4 times negative 3 gives us negative 12, which would mean a is negative 3. So because we don't have any h or k going on here, there's no parentheses, that makes our vertex at 0, 0. We know it's opening down, so the focus is going to be 3 units down. And then the directrix is going to be 3 units in the opposite direction, so our directrix is going to be here. So that makes our focus at 0, negative 3. And that makes our directrix at y equals positive 3. Now to figure out how wide it is, we always double a. So if I double 3, I get 6. So I'm going to go to the focus, and I'm going to go out 6 units. 1, two. And then back to the focus, out 6. So that parabola is much wider than our parabola that we just did on number one. All right, and number three, now we have parentheses. So that means um, we're going to have a vertex that is not 0, 0. So because this is a y squared graph, once again, because it's y squared, it's not our typical up or down. It's left or right. This is positive, so it's going to be opening to the right. <coughs> Excuse me. So that would mean in this problem 
that if I wanted this to be equal to 4a, once again, a is 1, right? 4 times 1 is 4. So a is 1 in this problem. The vertex, now let's look at the x. The x is x minus 1, so our x value is going to be positive 1. The y is y minus 1, so our y value is also going to be at positive 1. So our vertex is at 1, 1. Our focus is going to be A away, and it's opening to the right. So 1 to the right, 1 to the right would give us our directrix and our focus. So that makes our focus at the ordered pair 2, comma 1. And our directrix at x equals 0. Now we can make how wide it is. We'll double A. So 2, 2, graph. And we're done. So I would like you guys to try four. So if you want to pause the video, try four. And then um, you can replay the video and see if you got the correct answer. So I would pause and try four on your own. So because this is an x squared graph, it's going to be opening up or down. Because this is positive, it's opening up. Now 4 times what gives us 16? So we could say 4 times 4 is 16. Thus a is 4. Our vertex, let's look at x, it's x plus 4, so our x value is going to be negative 4. It's y plus 2, so our y value is going to be negative 2. We always do the opposite. So negative 4, negative 2, there's our vertex. Now our um, a value is 4, and it's opening up. So our focus is going to be 4 units up. And then a directrix is going to be four units down. So that makes the focus at negative four, positive two. And the directrix at y equals negative six. And then we have to figure out how wide the parabola is. So we're going to double four, which would give us eight. So I'm going to go eight units this way. And then eight units to the left. And then connect. So this is a really wide parabola. Now on MathXL or in your homework, if it asks for the lattice um, points, that would be these two points that you would um, type in or answer.